Hi friends, it's Terry Gaines. In this video, I'm going to give you all the details to create a crisscross panel fun fold card. The designer series paper I used for my card is from the Fresh as a Daisy 12 by 12 designer series paper packet. You get two each of the six double-sided designs. On one side, you have beautiful daisy designs. On the other side, you have background paper. I'm going to be using this design for my card that I'm going to assemble, but I have samples using other papers I'll share as at the end of this video. When you cut that designer series paper into the size you need, you are going to get a different design on each one of those panels, and they're all going to work great for this card. So I'm going to talk about the measurements. Let's talk about the panel layers first. Panel one is going to be on the outside of our card. It's going to be on the left side. I have the measurements for the outside cardstock, which I have the boho blue. I have a layer for what I'm using. The inside layer, I'm using basic white. And then the designer series paper is panel one, layer three. So all those measurements are defined for you. And I've adhered all of those together to save some video time. So that is panel one. Do note that you can eliminate that inside layer. You can make your layers smaller or bigger. So for panel two, we have two layers. And I also use the boho blue on the outside layer. And I use basic white on the inside layer. This is the panel that our decorative images are going to be attached to. So I added a subtle texture to that with the Timber 3D folder, just to give a subtle background to that. So that's panel number two. We have an inside layer number one is the outside, and then we have the layer two. Now, as I mentioned earlier, you can change up um, and have multiple layers or just have one layer. And this is for the inside sentiment. The inside sentiment is from the Cheerful Daisy stamp set, which coordinates with the dies I'm going to use that decorate this card. The dies have die images that will cut out all the stamped floral images, the greenery, the branch, plus you get these additional dies that will create a beautiful detail for your card, along with the banner. I have also have the banner here. I stamped that with the sentiment from the Darling Details stamp set. Um, all this product is available in Stampin' Up's new annual catalog. So those are what, this is what I'm going to embellish the card with. Before we go any further, I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna add some color to this image. Now I'm using this designer series paper, and if I was using a different print in the packet, I would choose different colors for my cardstock base and my decorating my flower. So I wanna have the centers of my flowers to be the same color as the designer series paper, and that is copper clay. So I'm going to take the copper clay ink and I'm going to take a sponge dauber and tap it into my ink pad and then just go right in the center of this large daisy. And I do a little twist as I place that down. I twist it a little bit just to fill that in. So I have those two daisies colored in. Now I could do the same thing for this small daisy, but my circle is going to go more into the petals. So I created a little template. I have a half inch circle punch. I punched in a piece of cardstock. If you have a slightly smaller circle, that will work too. Or if you have a little die, you can create a template. And then I'm going to place it over that flower. And then I'm going to just place my dauber right through that opening, do a little twist on it to add some color to my daisy. So now I have my centers the same color as my designer series paper. I wanna add some color to that greenery too, but I don't wanna get that on the petals. So I'm going to take a three inch post-it note and I'm going to take the first one just to cover up that petal in the back so I can color that in and not get the petals of the flower. I'm going to take another one and lay this one over the petal in this direction, just exposing the leaves and that little branch or stem right there. Now I'm going to take garden green. You can choose many different green colors and I'm going to use garden green. I'm going to also take a sponge dauber and I'm just gonna tap it into my ink pad. Now I'm just going to tap it onto this. This um, is a very fragile piece of um, cut 
cardstock. So you don't want to add your ink by sliding it across because you could easily tear that piece. So I'm just tapping that on to get my green color on here. And then let's close the ink pads. We're done with those. Now when I take the post-it notes off, I have my green just on the greenery, not on my petals. So that's how I colored that in. So we are ready to assemble. The card base I have already cut and scored to size. It is 11 by four and a quarter. The first score line is at one and three eighths, and that's gonna be a mountain fold. The second score line is two and three quarters. That's going to be a valley. Then you have a score line at eight and a quarter and at nine and five eighths. So you're gonna fold it mountain, valley, valley, mountain. Then you'll wanna bring your bone folder in or something to crease and burnish those score lines. So I'm just gonna burnish these. So we are ready to assemble. I'm going to use Stampin' Seal. You'll wanna use your favorite adhesive and I'm going to put the inside layers down first. They're going to go right in the center of this panel. So I'm going to put the adhesive on the back of this and look for equal spacing on the top, bottom, and sides. So it should be equal on all four sides and place that down. Now our next panel is going to be this one that's going to be adhered just to this left panel. We just want it here, we want no exposed adhesive. So my tip to do that is to bring this piece down, take your adhesive and apply it just to this panel and have it below or to or at this, just in this area here. So you're just putting it in this area. Let's see if I have a pen. The ink's gonna cover this up, or the panel's gonna cover this up. You want your adhesive to be just in this section here. And the reason that is, is because we have some exposed area on the top and bottom. But if you put your adhesive right there, take this panel, flip it over, and put it on the back of the left side, just a complete strip all the way down. Now with this adhesive and that adhesive, it's going to be just the right amount of, ad of adhesive to adhere this panel. We're going to look for equal spacing. So what I do is I keep it off the adhesive until I can visually line that up and then bring this down. And I have equal spacing top, left side, and bottom and burnish that. And so that panels adhere just to the front left panel. So panel one to that panel. So panel two gets adhered to this panel, but this is where the name comes into place. It's called crisscross. That was a name that a YouTube follower suggested. So that was a um, suggestion, which I really love the name. This panel is gonna cross over to this panel this panel gets adhered here and they kind of crisscross as they come together. So what we want to do when we apply this panel, we want it to be raised up. So we're going to use standard dimensionals and we want to make sure that we allow space for the left panel to tuck underneath. So what I'm going to suggest is you take and just lay these right next to each other, align the right side, equal spacing on the top and bottom. And then we're going to look at making sure that our dimensional is placed up below this line and above that line and not touching this panel. So what I'm going to do is put, a, put this back here and place a dimensional right here. Place my next one right here. And I kind of got those really close, but I think it'll still work. Then I'm gonna add two in the middle, two in the middle of that. So you can see that the, if I move this over, there, it's gonna get covered up and then this panel doesn't touch. So flatten everything and, and place your dimensionals. Now you can take your backings off and now you can take this panel, look for equal spacing on the top and bottom again and how much spacing you want on this side and the goal is to cover up those dimensionals and that allows your crisscross to happen. Your panels are crisscrossing and one's tucking behind the other and then you have the base part of the card done. 
Now we're going to embellish it. We're going to add this. What I do for this to adhere it, I use the mini dimensionals. So what I do is I put a one dimensional on that um, medium flower, I'll call that. I put one on the small, whoops, I just, I just moved that as I went to place it down. So my videos are unedited, they all contain bloopers, but if I was showing you this in person, you'd get the same bloopers in person. So, um, so one here, one here, and then I'm going to put three on the larger flower, just in those areas that allow you to tuck a mini dimensional behind it and then not have it um, be seen on the other side. So I'm going to take those off. Now when I flatten this card, my goal is to keep this image within the border of the card. I'm going to have the greenery right on the edge of the card, have those two overlay a little bit. My dimensionals are right here, so they're not, it, um, they're not exposed here. So you don't want those to be exposed. So that's how I've attached the flower. I'm going to put the banner right here. It's gonna hang over the edge a little bit. So I'm going to go back to the standard dimensionals. I'm going to place both of them on the panel. I'm gonna place two of them on the panel right here. And I know they're going to be covered by the banner. So I'm gonna take the backings off. Now I'm going to take this banner and tuck it under the petals and tuck that in as far as I want it to go. I'm gonna have it over the edge a little bit. And then I absolutely love these brass butterflies. I'm gonna take just one brass butterfly and have it right here. And this is the fun fold card. So we have our decorative panel and then opens up and you can visually, it'll stand on the table like this to view both of those and you can open it up for the inside sentiment. It is a fun card to create. Like I mentioned, you can download a PDF that's going to um, give you all those measurements. Now here's the same card. I have a lighter color green for this one, but I added the copper clay as my border around the card instead of the white. So that just changes up the card really quite a bit, but a fun way to add a different color to it. Here's another designer series paper. I changed up the color of the inside of the leaves, added some more butterflies, but this is just a fun way to use that designer series paper and change up the colors by what designer series paper you're using. This is the um, Moody Mauve and I have the Wild Wheat for the leaves. It kind of looks like one of the colors they have here. And the last sample I have I have Crush Curry and Garden Green that coordinates with this designer series paper. And then you have those colors on the embellishments here. So I hope you have fun with this fun fold card. And if you have any questions, reach out to me. If you um, are new to my YouTube channel, I would love to have you subscribe to my YouTube channel. And if you have any questions, as I mentioned, please reach out to me. Take care and happy creating.